Mark Del Castillo back again. Uh, today I just wanted to cover a real quick uh, warm-up exercise. People have been asking what I do to warm up. So um, I wanted to share that with you today. Just some simple exercises to sync up the left and the right hand uh, to get muscles loose for, for playing. This is for definitely for um, the kind of music that we play that, uh, in Del Castillo and Chingon. Um, which is a little more involved uh, picking wise. Uh, if this was just like a Rolling Stones thing, I wouldn't have to worry about it. <laughs> but uh, I mean, if I was just playing chords, if I was just playing chords and, and jamming, um, I wouldn't really necessarily need to warm up. Um, but when we're playing things like like stuff like that, you want to be you want to be warmed up to to be able to pull those off uh, cleanly. So. Um, First things first, a simple exercise uh, I got from watching a Vinnie Moore uh, instructional video like 20 years ago, maybe 25, 30, I don't want to date myself, but a long time ago. Um, and it's simple. Uh, it's really simple. This is not musical at all. It's really boring uh, musically. Um, but what I did when I was younger is I would do these while I was watching TV. And uh, I'd have a metronome going and I'd be watching TV and I would be able to practice with the metronomes real soft um, in case you're, you get really bored with this. But it, it's very helpful. So it's something simple like this. On one string you're going to go and everything's down, up, down, up. That way you're working out every, every finger, getting every finger used to being involved. And then you can come down. Get that down. And then move it up the fretboard. And then start going back down. like that and then uh just practice it to a metronome making sure every note is even uh and that each note is up down up down down up down up i'm sorry like that so um and then like i said you can go because you don't want to get used to just going up you want to be, have, get your fingers used to going back, backwards as well, like that, because it, it sounds simple, but it's amazing how tricky stuff can be if you don't practice it. You can do that. Or... And that slow is just... So you're just doing that, going up like the first one, slide your pinky, and then come back down, and then slide your index again. So you're going one, two, okay, um, and then you can move that up the neck. Make sure you do that on every string. You don't want to just do it on the high E string because when you pick down on the low string, you're using different muscles in your wrist, in your hand, and and your right hand. So you want to get used to being able to pull that off on all the strings. Don't just do it on one string. I'm just showing you on one string so that you can, uh, for the sake of time, but you want to do this on all the strings. Um, okay, and that's that's a four note. <laughs> Two, three, four. You can do triplets, and that's that's something else you want to practice um, because that's going to teach your hand. Because otherwise, when you do triplets, one, and you go to the next one, 
you're starting on an up. So you're going down, up, down, up, down, up. Down. With your right hand, it's, oh, it's always alternating. Um, but when you're moving this, this hand, um, you start to pick and stroke on a different stroke. And it sounds like, okay, well, no brainer, but it's actually when, when you're playing the coordination, those little things like that, they, they do matter. If you don't practice them, it's, it becomes strange. You get, you always get used to starting the next shift on a down always. And then when something comes around where you, you can't do that, or you, you, you're not able to do that, you, you're thrown off. So these kind of little exercises doing three notes instead of four, you'll find they're a little trickier because they're different. Okay. So So you can do it. And then try practicing uh, forgetting the middle finger, omit the middle finger, and just use these three fingers. Try practicing that lick, and then... And then this... So you're using, you're getting used to using all of your fingers for these kind of exercises. You don't want to just use these three, which I showed you the initial exercise. So you want to, you want to skip the ring finger and do, you see what I did there? Instead of, instead of going, I'm going. So skip this finger and then skip this finger, the middle finger, and just do these three. So go. No, this is okay. Something like that. Uh, little picking exercises. Um, I can, I'll show you more as uh, I think of them, but this is something real short to, to just practice on, trying to do little videos just so you can get little bits of information, practice them as much as you can, and not try to fill up a whole 30 minute video with tons of stuff. Um, give you a little bit here here and there at a time. Um, I'll, I'll show you some other licks um, next time and some different ways to play other licks. But for now, keep practicing, and I hope uh, you enjoy this lick. and. Uh, Subscribe, share, like.